Meanwhile, teachers from across our state are calling for support for the HEROES Act, a relief package that provides funding to public schools. Democrats passed it in the House months ago. As CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco reports, hundreds of teachers, employees, and parents are looking to the U.S. Senate, and they made the trip to Raleigh to protest outside Senator Tom Tillis' office. A caravan of cars heading towards Senator Tom Tillis' office in Raleigh. The message from these public school teachers and parents written on their car windows. We are here because it is past time for Senate action to address the reality of this crisis. The group rallied outside Tillis' office on Saturday, calling on him to vote for the HEROES Act, a second coronavirus relief package. It made it through the House, but is at a standstill in the Senate. You know, I'm really scared for the safety of our communities, um, and uh, I think that this action um, is a way to demonstrate that fear. If passed, the $3 trillion package would provide a second round of stimulus checks and much-needed funding to public schools. These federal dollars are just paramount in order for us to fund our public schools in this moment. These teachers tell me the reality is students and staff are struggling and say that they need that funding to make it through the school year. We are here because North Carolina's public school educators have remained in contact with students throughout the crisis. Witnessing the hardship they and their families are experiencing firsthand. CBS 17 reached out to Senator Tillis' office, but did not hear back. In Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.